Big Bang, the origin of the universe. The universe can be defined as everything that exists, everything that has existed and everything that will exist. According to our current understanding, the universe consists of space-time, forms of energy, including electromagnetic radiation and matter and the laws of physics that bind them together. Thus the universe encompasses all life, all history and some philosophers and scientists suggest that it even encompasses ideas such as mathematics and logic. But one of the fundamental questions of the universe concerns its origin. Most astronomers accept the Big Bang Theory which states that the universe was formed during an event called the Big Bang, a giant explosion that occurred between 10 and 20 billion years ago. It was during the Big Bang that space, time, matter and energy of the universe were created. The giant explosion projected material in all directions and resulted in the expansion of the space itself. As the universe cooled, its materials combined to form galaxies, stars and planets. We can trace back time when the universe was only one hundredth of a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second old. At that time, it experienced an incredible surge of expansion called cosmic inflation, in which space itself expands faster than the speed of light. During this time, the size of the universe doubled at least 90 times from subatomic size to the size of a golf ball almost instantly. The Big Bang is not an explosion of matter moving outward to fill an empty universe, instead space itself expands with time everywhere and increases the physical distance between two co-moving points. In other words, the Big Bang is not an explosion in space, but rather an expansion of space. About 13.8 billion years ago, all matter in the universe emerged from a single point in a violent quote-unquote explosion. It grew at an incredibly high speed and temperature, doubling size in every 10 to 34 seconds, creating space while swelling fast. In a fraction of a second, all the other forces were formed, the energy turned into particles of matter and antimatter which have annihilated each other. However, there was an asymmetry and not every particle of matter has been destroyed. Protons and neutrons began to form in this matter. In a few minutes, these protons and neutrons could merge to form nuclei of hydrogen and helium. After 300,000 years, nuclei have finally been able to capture electrons to form atoms. Filling the universe with hydrogen and helium clouds and continuing to evolve to form the universe as we know it today. In the 1920s, astronomers observed that distant galaxies were rapidly moving away from Earth and from one another. This observation was consistent with the idea of a constantly expanding universe, suggesting that the universe had been smaller in the past. In the 1920s, a Belgian physicist and a Catholic priest named George Lemaire speculated that if the history of the universe could be downgraded, the universe would become denser and warmer until all the material was concentrated in what he called a primitive atom, and this is what we now call the Big Bang. Although this is not the only modern theory on the creation of the universe, it is the most widely accepted one. Not only does the model explain the origin of all known matter, the laws of physics, and the large-scale structure of the universe, but it also explains the expansion of the universe and a wide range of other phenomena. The earliest and the most direct observational evidence of the validity of the theory are the expansion of the universe according to Hubble's law. As indicated by the redshifts of galaxies, discovery and measurement of the cosmic microwave background and the relative abundances of light elements produced by the Big Bang. More recent evidence includes observations of galaxy formation and evolution and the distribution of large-scale cosmic structures. These are sometimes called the four pillars of the Big Bang theory. Over the years, other evidences of observation have corroborated the idea that the universe had evolved from a dense and hot state. Since the discovery of microwave background radiation, this has been considered the best theory to explain the evolution of the cosmos. Virtually all current theoretical work in cosmology attempts to expand or refine aspects of the Big Bang theory. Much of the current work in cosmology is focused on understanding how galaxies formed in the context of the Big Bang, what happened there, and comparing new observations with fundamental theory. 